fire, a common way to die in Cosmo Tier. Whether if you didn't place down a fire extinguisher or it got destroyed, either or, fire is pretty deadly because it burns up your ship. Now, not all fire is created equally. Some fire, like the one I'm creating in this video, has a uh, 295,800 megajoules per second of energy. What is that going to look like? Well, you're going to find out in this video. Alright, hopefully you enjoy. Alright, I'm going to call it right now. We're going to end this video with more than uh, 890 subscribers. Oh, damn. Ooh. Wow, we just gained a subscriber. How about that? Okay. Thermal Residence Lance. Dilation Pump. Amplifier. Those are the components to any good fire beam. Now I'm not going to explain exactly what each one does, just note that the thermal resonance lance is the actual weapon, meanwhile the dilation and amplification pumps are just used to make it more powerful. So the more you stack, the better they are. Speaking of, let's go on to a test that I made, before I even knew what any of this did. So here I have a test to see if amplification pumps and dilation pumps actually stack. So on the left here we have one application pump and one dilation pump connected to one thermal resonant lance. And on the right here we have a bunch of application pumps and dilation pumps connected to one single thermal resonance lance. And uh, let's see how it works. So immediately you can see how the one on the left is much smaller than the one on the right. And uh, if I speed up time here, so this is just a block of armor, so in theory this should be pretty hard to go through. But it does look like the one on the right is doing much better. So if you stack application pumps and dilation pumps, it seems to have a much greater effect than just one of each. So that's good. That means I can make a very ridiculous ship. Now, for a challenge, I'm just going to work with the confines of the vanilla game. Now, of course, I could turn on my build area mod, which makes it a 2000 by 2000 grid, but that shouldn't be necessary. That would probably kill my game, so I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to have one single resonance lance, and we're going to have all the ventilation in the front. Alright, so I think we're just going to kind of just do this a bunch of times, but actually we do need these to all be powered. And then we go another five and do the same exact thing. Will this work? I don't know. I'm pretty sure two crew per thing is going to be good enough. And then when we get to this point, we can just, uh, I guess put more crew down. That's probably more important. And then we just do the same thing again. Now we'll just kind of copy and paste this design over and over again. And it should be good. Now we just need to put down a whole lot of amplification pumps. Now I can only assume how powerful this is going to be, but the rest of this will be dedicated to thrusters. Otherwise, uh, this thing wouldn't be able to move, which is mildly important when you're trying to make a ship. Oh, the game does not like it if you hover over the piping at all. Look at this. From 100 frames to 0.9. Now that is a good sign. Also, I do want to say, uh, look at this. Heat dissipation versus heat generated? It seems like we have enough. So let's make this so and see what happens. Now, uh, this thing can barely turn left to right. It seems like the frames are actually fine. Oh god, what is this? It needs power? Yeah, the crew are on it, don't worry. This thing might take a little bit to charge up, but that's okay. As you can see, my other two guys are just working away. So let's make a new one. Is this thing going to vaporize instantly? I have no clue, because I haven't tested this out before. Fire it. I should pause, honestly. Alright, so immediately, uh, we have a decent fire beam. Uh, if we compare that to these guys, you can see how it's slightly bigger. Now, uh, I... Oh, okay. That's uh, a lot of fire. Uh, let's just target here, honestly. Alright, let's see how this works out. Now, uh, honestly, I don't know what's going on. Maybe we should check the, the POV of the ship that I'm attacking. Let's 
looks uh, is like this. Um, so immediately you can see how uh, the ship is <laughs> the ship is kind of no more. Um, oh, this is 8x speed. Hold on, <laughs> I need to slow this on down. So uh, the ship the ship is kind of kind of has a hole in it now that it didn't have before. So. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, the, the entire game is just lagged out because of how much fire is going on here. So let's uh, take this to a real game and see what happens there. Oh my god, even back here is just in, on fire. Alright, here we go to the 1618 area. The strongest guys in the game are here. Now you'd think they would outlaw me from just ever coming here with all the weird contraptions I brought over, but... Uh, seems like I'm still able to show up, so let's destroy everyone yet again. My base fire 3, we'll see how this turns out. Now unfortunately it's going to take a little bit for everything to load up. Did I not select? Oh, I thought I didn't select okay. Apparently my game is just crashing. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll just wait for program. Alright, here we go. My very cool design. This design is very human. Just gotta wait for everything to fire up. Look at this guy. Oh no, I'm a level 18 that's gonna destroy you. Yeah. My thing isn't even fully uh, up yet, but we'll just go with this. Sure. So uh, immediately you can see how there's just a whole lot of orange on screen, which is a common side effect of being lit on fire. Now remember, this thing isn't fully powered up, so each time one of these guys adds to the fuel, uh, this is going to become more and more powerful. Now this guy has a bunch of deck cans and is a very cringe build, and I've never messed with deck cans before, so I can't relate to being cringe. So uh, the problem with fire is because of thermodynamics, uh, things take a little bit to heat up. It's not like you instantly uh, start to die. So we're just going to go on half speed. That should be enough for uh, fire to start firing and everything. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Seems like the ship is on fire. So the mushy uh, internals are getting caught on fire from this distance. Which means that, uh, yeah, things are just not looking too good now, are they? Now, I don't know if there's a clean way to look if a fire is happening. Oh, I see. I just have to go into this view. So, uh, a few things are on fire. Hey, this side is untouched, okay? Now, if you're wondering, uh, this piece is very far away and hasn't taken a bunch of damage, but the closer you get, the more damage things have taken. And I think fire is just a general tick rate thing, so this fire should just spread throughout the entire ship. Very cool. Oh, it's doing like a spin. That's not a good idea because the entire thing is going to get fried. And there it goes. Very cool. Alright, I think this is our voluntary test subject. Now, of course, there's going to be asteroids just, like, in my way, which is not fun. Uh, but this guy is level 18, so it should be fun either way. Let's, uh, turn. Uh, let's show this guy who is boss. In theory, if I just hold down the button, uh, this guy is going to be on fire. Now, I don't want to go in cinematic mode so I can actually see where all the fire is located. Uh, can I actually drag my mouse? I can, alright. So this is full power, and it's been about, like, what, half a second because of the frames? And as you can see, things are already exploding. Uh, which is not a good sign if you, uh, like surviving. At all. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here with the graphics, but I'm sure it's just... Okay. Alright. Is it gonna keep getting brighter? What is this? It's gonna turn pure white at this rate. I, I'm assuming that it's just taking a little bit for the fire to spread, and since I am only running two FPS, the game is like, uh, nothing's actually going on here. Well, I think that only calls for, uh, one thing, and that would be a very nice time lapse. Wow, I gained two subscribers in that time. Huh. Interesting. So, uh, I have gum, actually. I need to spit that out. So, I have one last idea. 
Now, obviously, that was very laggy. So, what if I break down the one uh, lance beam into, like, ten? Let's try shooting them. Oh, God, I hovered over some pipes. Big mistake. The game is now gone. Dang it. <laughs> All right, is this going to work? That's the question. Half speed. Uh, only one of them has fired. Can, like, the entire... The entire piping network needs to be used. What? Why do I still have one frames per second? Is it because, like, an infinite amount of heat was just generated? Okay, note to self, uh, you can't put, what is this, seven or nine, uh, resonant lances? I think that's nine, yeah. You can't, you can't put nine resonant lances on this system because the entire thing uh, does not have enough heat to uh, produce, and also it drops your frame rate from a good uh, 144 to a 2.41 or a 3.18. So, oh, my frames are back. Hey, just as I was complaining about them. All right, I think that's all we really need to know. Thank you for watching. Time to go to the end part. Hey, why are we at 895? Wait, am I gonna hit 900? Hold on. Well, we had a 9.05 as of editing this, and I just want to say thank you for 900 subscribers, and maybe in the near future, I won't be doing this for free, and I'll actually be rewarded for all this hard work. Although your comments are uh, rewarding enough for now, so I'll just keep going and see if the future is going to be bright for me. Also, I just want to quickly uh, say thank you for my uh, latest comments. Hey, you're in the end of the video. How about that? Very cool. I just hit my table. All right. Goodbye. And also, uh, join my Discord. <clears throat>